Hello everybody, my name is Ryan and I am the Product Training Coordinator within the Training Department at Wellness Living. And this improvement will go over the automatic recording for FitLive sessions. As mentioned, this improvement will go over automatic recordings for FitLive sessions. So, to see this, what we want to do is go up to our app drawer, click there, then we're going to go down to view all, click there, and then we're going to navigate to FitLive and click within FitLive. Once the Fit Live area opens, what we want to do is navigate down to settings and we're going to click there. Then once in settings, we're going to go to session recording and we're going to click within session recording. So once we're in the session recording tab, we can see we have the same two options that we did before and we have an addition this time, which is automatic recording. Underneath automatic recording, there is an on off slider button. Uh, which allows for automatically recorded sessions. And underneath that, you can see it says here, sessions will be recorded automatically as they begin. If both of the above manual options are set to on, you must decide where the recording will be saved. So essentially what that means is if both of these are on and you have automatically recorded sessions enabled, you will have to decide where you want uh, the automatically recorded session to save, whether it be to Fitbit On Demand or save to a local computer. In addition, if I have both of the manual recording options turned off, by default, automatic recording will not be able to be enabled, as you can see. Furthermore, if I have only one of the manual recording options enabled, and I enable automatically recorded sessions, it will go with the corresponding option that I chose. So as you can see, under manual recording, I chose allow manual recording and save to a local computer with automatically recorded sessions enabled it will only allow me to select save recordings on a local computer and again vice versa if i choose allow manual recording and save to fitbit on demand and i have automatic recording enabled it's only going to allow me to choose upload recordings to fitbit on demand so i'm just going to go back up and i'm going to enable everything and we're going to put it to upload recordings to fitbit on demand so to see this functionality, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the schedule and we are going to start a fit live session. So we're going to go to schedule, click there. All right. So now that we're in the schedule, we can see we have a lifting mechanics class. I'm going to click onto that and then I can either start the virtual session from here or I can do it from the attendance list. So I can view the attendance list and do that as well. All right, so since we are in the attendance list, we can see that this is the lifting mechanics class. That is one hour session and it begins at 930 and we have one person in the attendance list. So to start this virtual session, it's just like any other fit live session. Uh, so what we want to do is go to start virtual session and then we're going to click there. And then it's just going to come up. And then yes, we want to open zoom meetings and we want to launch the meeting. So then we're just going to wait. And then since we have the settings enabled for allow automatic recording of fit live sessions, we're going to see this pop up, which says this meeting is being recorded. And right here has a bit of a disclaimer saying by continuing to be in this meeting, you are consenting to being recorded essentially. So you can consent or you can leave the meeting. If you do not consent, since I consent, I will say got it. And then I am within the meeting and I can see myself within this fit live session. So I'm just going to turn off my camera. And as you can see at the top here, it's being recorded as well. So I'm just going to exit out. Then we're going to go back to the fit live menu. So as you can see, we're back within fit live underneath settings and underneath the session recording tab. So as you can see, this improvement can prove to be very helpful for businesses and staff members. Uh, by staff members not being required to remember every single time to hit the record button for their fit live sessions uh, by having automatic recording it does that for you as long as it's enabled uh, you're going to have those fit live sessions automatically recorded and automatically uploaded to either fitvid on demand or a local computer drive as far as local computer drives uh, go uh, once the session ends once the fit live session ends the Zoom platform is going to process the video and then it's going to ask the staff member where they want to save the file and then they just have to choose whichever local computer or local drive uh, that it's going to be saved to. And that's it for this improvement.